India is the world's third largest oil consumer and over 80% of its oil are being imported from various countries, especially Gulf countries. But after 24th February 2022, India's oil import scenario changed completely because on that day Russia started its controversial special military operation against Ukraine. Because of Russia's action, US and the Western European countries started oil embargo against Russia. Since then crude oil price shot up and it's went all time high in three to four decades. It touched $140 per barrel. In recent time, it is around $120 per barrel. And there is a reason. Because now Russia stopped giving its crude oil to European countries. So the world oil market has become very complicated. For that reason, total inflation of the countries are reaching its zenith. Consequently, India's wholesale price touched 15.9%, which is highest after 1990s. Because of that, India have to go for cheapest crude oil in world market and India reached in Russia's basket because Russia was offering 25% to 35% discount on its crude oil right after the Ukraine invasion. India accepted it readily. The reason is very simple. India have to save its own economy along with its billion plus population. Also, India have to bring its inflation down because it has the highest middle class and the lower strata income population. When something usually happened in and around the country, then total pressure come into middle class population. And the country have its responsibility to protect its popular section, those who are paying the highest amount of tax to its government. So this is the Indian government responsibility, how they will going to get the cheap oil when the war is happening in and around the world. Now we will compare India's 2021 and 2022 oil import data. Because it is very important to understand what is happening in oil market. We all know India is the largest importer of Iraqi oil. And there is a reason why we import oil from Iraq. Because Iraq sells his oil at a handsome discount. They are selling us discounted oil since Saddam Hussein's time. Iraq's shares in India's oil import was around 1.37 million barrels per day in 2021. And they were in the number one position. And they are still in the number one position. But... This year it has reduced a bit. In 2022, India is importing 1.07 million barrels per day. Here the Russian catch comes into play. You know, Saudi Arabia was the second largest oil importer to India. They used to send 1.11 million barrels per day. But this year, Saudi Arabia has been dethroned from its second position. Russia took the second spot with 0.74 million barrels per day. Russia reached 2.74 from mere 0.06 million barrels per day. You can spot the differences over here. What India is doing? India is importing more oil from Russia by cutting its import from the Gulf countries. India may be planning to cut its oil import to half from Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates. India has to do it because these countries are not selling its oil to India at a discounted rate. As they are not discounted, India have to spend more of its forex to buy the Brent crude from these countries. In 2021, India used to buy 0.5 million barrels from United Arab Emirates, 0.37 from United States, 0.22 from Nigeria, 0.17 from Oman, 0.1 from Mexico, 0.09 from Angola, 0.06 million barrels from Qatar. So in that scenario, Russia's share was only 1% with only 0.06 million barrels per day. But now, in today's time, Russia's share is 18% with 0.74 million barrels per day. We also know that because of Western sanctions, Western companies are leaving Russia, including crude oil companies. And these voids are being fulfilled by Indian oil majors and Indian refineries. India's largest refinery in Jamnagar is implementing or importing 27% of Russian Urals. The percentage was only 5% in 2021. But Indian companies are facing payment challenges because of swift sanctions against the Russian banks. Both the countries are facing several challenges. Recently, a news was circulating that Indian company's 7 billion ruble has been stuck due to sanction. But both the countries are trying to resolve this challenge by doing business using local currencies. Rupee and ruble transaction is on table. Russia is requesting India to implement its rupee card in Russia. But things are pretty complicated. Although Russia has its own payment system, which is called System for Transfer of Financial Messages, which simply means SPFS. SPFS came into existence as an alternative to SWIFT. It came 
when Russia overtook Crimea in 2014 from Ukraine. And at that time also, the Western countries slammed series of sanctions against Russia. So Russia knew the today's scenario. Russia knew the today's scenario. And the Russia was ready for that. Russia was ready to meet the challenges head on. In this scenario, only one country and this media is expressing anger against India's import of Russian oil. And that country is United States. Various US officials, including US President Joe Biden, expressed displeasure against India's move. US Deputy NSA Dalep Singh crossed every diplomatic boundary by threatening India by taking China factor as an excuse. US is teaching history, philosophy, moral to India, but they are forgetting their own value and ethics. They are blaming Russia for everything. They are also blaming India for funding Russian war, but they forgot the Europe. Europe is also buying Russian gas and Russian crude oil, more than what India is buying. If India's buying of Russian crude is analogous, analogous to the funding of the Russian war, then why not the European buying? United States itself bought more oil and the gas from the Russia after the Russia's special military operation against Ukraine. That news was honored by the Russian minister. So what the US is doing, that is absolutely okay with the world, but the, what India is doing is very problematic for the Western countries. So lecturing value ethics and the moral is very easy. If the US is so sympathetic about the Ukrainians, then they should fought war against Russian Federation in the favor of Ukraine. US should not use proxies against Russia the same way they used against the USSR in Afghan war in 1970s and the 1980s. This time US will not succeed because the things change completely. The geopolitics has changed completely. The world is learning new ways to dodge the sanctions and the financial repercussions. The sanctions are good when someone will be there to watch. If someone is not there, then it is no good, no good for the Western countries. And these sanctions are not from United Nations. These are from Western countries, the Western European countries and the United States. Such coercive action against the majority of the populations is equal to the one-sided resentment. Anyway, India and the Russia is a natural ally. Russia helped India in 1971 to liberate Bangladesh from autocratic Pakistan. Now it is India's time to show the true friendship to the true friend. And the Indian minister is going to the St. Petersburg to attend the Russian business summit to discuss more investment in the Russian oil. So things will going to change between everybody, between the US, between the Russia and the, between the Western countries. The more they will going to resent against India, more India will going to, they will going to push India out of their league. Now the questions. The first question is, United States has placed 10 countries including India on the priority watch list. Pertaining to which issue? The first option is currency manipulation. Second option is intellectual property framework. Third option is trade sanction. Fourth option is nuclear warfare. The second question. The United States signs the first phase of historic trade deal with which country? The first option is India. Second is China. Third is Russia. Fourth is Switzerland. So this is the end of the topic.